Welcome. In this video, we're going to continue discussing measures of center and variation. A midterm for a calculus course at a particular university has a mean of 77 and a standard deviation of 8.3. 22 students took this exam. One student took this midterm a day late and scored an 89. Does this new score increase or decrease the average score? Well, without computing anything, since 89 is larger than 77, we know that the mean will increase. This is the same effect that would happen if we remove, say, a low or score of like 63. 63 is lower than the mean, and if we remove that score, the mean would also go up. Now, before we move on to part B, I want to point out that had the score been lower than 77, say the score instead of 89 had been a 69, then that would have brought down the mean. Additionally, we could have added a score lower than the mean, like 56. If we had added a 56, that would have also decreased the mean. Now for part B, what is the new mean for this class? To figure that out, let's think of how we compute a mean. We're going to sum up all the scores, so that is the sum of 22 scores. We divide that by 22, which is the number of, of scores, I guess, we had to sum together. And then that gave us the mean of 77. So if we multiply 77 and 22, all we have left is the sum of 22 scores. So the sum of the 22 scores is 1,694. So to get the new mean, we'd have to sum up the old 22 scores. So sum of 22 scores, add in the new score of 89, and now we're going to divide by 23 since we have one more score. So that's 1,694 plus 89 divided by 23. That's 1,783 divided by 23. And this yields 77.5. So the mean went up by a half here. All right, now we're on to part C of our video. Does this new score increase or decrease the standard deviation? So our original standard deviation was here based off of the 22 original students that took the exam. The late student scored an 89. And we already know that the mean increased, but what about the standard deviation? Well, what we have to ask ourselves is how far away is this from the mean? That is, standard deviation measures how far, if this is the mean, this here's the mean. The standard deviation measures how far things are away from the mean. So if we look at a bell curve again, if this is our mean here and this is one standard deviation, if this new score is out here somewhere, then it will definitely increase the standard deviation. If it's here, then it's not going to increase the standard deviation. Rather, it's going to pull it in and make it smaller. So let's figure out 89, how far above the mean is it? Well, 77 plus 8.3, this is going to give us one standard deviation above the mean. So one standard deviation above the mean is 85.5. Notice that 89 is larger than this. So it's larger than this, so we know it's more than one standard deviation above the mean. Since it is more than one standard deviation above the mean, it is going to increase the standard deviation. Finally, suppose that instead of an 84 that late, excuse me, instead of an 89, that student scored an 84 on this exam. Does this new score increase or decrease the standard deviation? Well, again, we have to ask ourselves, what is one standard deviation above the mean? Well, that is 
84 is smaller than that, so this will decrease the standard deviation.